exactly the same as against Wolves. I mean, I think two minutes of football, we already look shocking defensively. I mean, listen, it's a shot on target. I will take a shot on target. It's not a bad start. Bramovic! Roman Abramovic! Roman Abramovic! Roman Abramovic! I've pulled a muscle, guys. <coughs> something doesn't feel right in my chest. Or something on my ribs. <coughs> I was ill anyway, but <coughs> oh, that fucking hurts. <coughs> dominated the past 10 minutes 15 minutes we've been fantastic um, yeah really good to watch say about that first half I mean what a strange first half of football I've injured myself celebrating the first goal Jackson um, got the goal as well so it's nice to see Gallagher and Jackson get on the score sheet I think we played some really good football but still unconvincing at times when we lose the ball in the midfield we look open but the thing is Aston Villa look even worse in the midfield than we do. So we seem to have a chance in that sense. I think Chilwell's having a good game. I like what I'm seeing from the back line. We're trying to pass positively. Uh, Madueke for me has been sensational so far. I'd give him man of the match uh, as it stands, even though he hasn't scored. Um, Palmer's doing well. Gallagher's doing well. Um, Enzo for me has been okay. He's been good, but there has been moments where I've been a little bit uh, he's been a little bit sloppy at times, but yeah, if we continue the way we have, then you know there's a good chance that Villa can claw their way into the match. But they're not playing good football, so 
really, they're making it easier for us. Uh, we're not making things particularly difficult for them. I mean, that has to be one of the best free kicks I've ever seen. Yeah. For me, that's up there with Rashford when he scored against us in the uh, in the cup a few years ago. Fernandez, take your hat off because that was world class. I'm in, I'm in no condition to bounce. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We've only got 15 minutes left in this game, but so let's not throw away, guys. Let's not concede an easy goal. Why is Pochettino bringing on Sterling? He's a bum. I'm back at the end of the month, actually, for the final. He is a bum. It's a shame we couldn't get a clean sheet, that is a shame, but ultimately the game's over, 90 minutes, who cares? So guys, listen, it was a, what a fantastic result, fantastic uh, performance for the most part. I mean, we had a little blip at the end, not able to get the clean sheet, but I don't want to overthink it too much. I think there's been so many negatives this season. Let's try and just take positives from today. I think Pochettino did well, although I don't understand why we brought on Sterling towards the end of the match. Um, for me, Sterling is just... It's too far gone with this guy. He's just not good enough for Chelsea. Um, but the majority of the players um, that I've seen this season have underperformed. Um, so it's not just players like Sterling that need to level up, but they should be spearheading um, the revolution and the comeback in the second half of this season. Um, so listen, I know the, the league performances haven't been there, but in the Cups we've been 
pretty much perfect results wise even though we had a second leg you know we managed to come out on top against a very good Aston Villa side I think that Pochettino can still turn it around I know a lot of people don't um, but that's just how I feel um, I think the problems go a lot higher up than just Pochettino but listen if you agree or disagree with me guys let me know in the comments other than that we'll see you in the next video guys